Hello, goat lovers. This is Crystal with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. What started with four chickens and two goats quickly grew into a lifestyle. So we moved, got more land, and of course, more goats. Follow our adventures as we grow our herd, our food, and our family. Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and it is hard to believe that we are six weeks away from breeding actually. So it is sneaking up on us. So I'm getting as much milk as possible that I can get out of these does while I have the opportunity. Because I do want to dry them up at least a couple weeks before we breed. So I got four weeks of milk left and I need to make as many hard cheeses as possible because I got such a uh, late start. And I got my little granddaughter here, check her out. Say hi, say hi. She says hi. <laughs> so anyway, we have quite a few cheeses I've been able to, to bang out. So I've been doing a double batch each weekend because it's so time consuming, I really, really have to do it on my days off so and you can only do two for the whole weekend because then they have to sit in the press but getting quite a few made and have four more weeks so that's at least eight more cheeses if nothing comes up that i can't make it for the weekend so hopefully that won't be the case So in the next, either next weekend or the following, I do have to get all of these does ready for breeding, which is just trimming their hooves and making, you know, they're going to be ready for their copper again, giving them their monthly selenium, all those good things, possibly worming them to, again, make sure a few weeks in advance they are just all ready and healthy and set for breeding. Because breeding really takes a lot out of them especially the bucks so the bucks are on the list for all that stuff as well so we're still in a heat wave a drought it has been just so so hot too many days in a row over a hundred um, today's the first day that we're not in the excessive heat warning, which just simply means it's under 105. So I think today we're going to be 103, which doesn't feel like much relief at all. We're not getting any rain. It's sprinkled a couple of times, but it's affecting everything. It's affecting all the animals. It's affecting everything, including their milk production. Um, all things considered, they're still giving me quite a bit of milk that I'm still able to uh, make at least two cheeses a week, uh, three gallon cheeses. So that's six gallons. And on top of that, you know, a few gallons for us to drink, but it's still really, really dropped their milk production. Cause it's, it's hard and it takes a lot out on everybody. We're all kind of over it at this point. That's Maddie. Maddie. Child. She loves that dog. Maddie. Maddie. Maddie hates cats and dogs that look like cats. <laughs> Maddie. He <It> doesn't. <laughs> Eat that right, Maddie. So if you guys didn't notice, this here's Val. She's acting a little crazy right now because I'm taking a foot off, but she has come such a long way. She's almost going to be not called one of the crazies. So, I don't know, pretty exciting. Try? Yeah? 
is it? Almost. <laughs> Don't try. Just squeeze it. <laughs> Before long, she'll be milking goats. So Lacey here, as you guys know, um, this will be her last milking. So we aren't going to be rebreeding her. So if we dry her up in four weeks, that's it. No more milk out of Lacey. It's kind of actually sad, but it is, it is what it is. So we could keep Lacey in milk because we're not breeding her. And the reason I dry up the other does, obviously, is because I don't want to... We pen breed, so in other words, we keep our goats together for a full two months, the bucks and the does. And I'm not going to be going in that pen and getting the milkers out and dealing with the bucks twice a day. I'm just not going to do it. But Lacey is kind of up in the air. Uh, she makes enough milk that we would still have, you know, milk because she's a really good milker. So we planned on putting Lacey with the younger does. Grandma Lacey with the young ones um, out to pasture in their own little paddock. But now with the drought and everything, everything's just kind of up in the air. We're not real sure what we're going to do just yet. It's Dreamer, Maybelline, Vogue, that's Venus, and there's little Made It. Who's looking really good? She's almost outgrowing Venus. That's a good thing. So, as we've mentioned before, we know these little dolings have to get out of this pen. Um, just what they're doing to the trees and everything. So, we know we're going to move them. Initially, we wanted them to have their own little paddock, uh, you know, with Lacey. So, that was a thought. But with the drought and everything and the grass not growing back, what we think we're probably going to end up doing is, well, for sure moving them uh, to their own little pen and training them on the electric fence to eventually incorporate them in with the herd with the, with the big girls so that they could just share the paddock of grass that they're eating and not make an additional one. So we just now moved these five dolings into this stall. Now this is um, the birthing stalls. So Derek made it in a manner that we could just take those pickets down. And you know, this was five stalls. And since we took them down, now it is one stall. They have plenty of shade and plenty of room. Um, so what our plan is, is to keep them in here for at least a couple days, because it's gonna be a change from their other pen. Um, just get them used to this pen, knowing that this is home base now. And their panel, their solar panel, it has came in. So hopefully we'll be able to just train them on that electric fence. And our end goal here is to get them in there with those does as they're trained on the electric fence. So that's the goal. Also a benefit of having these girls right here in this stall is they are very close face to face with these big does here. So if you can already tell, they are wanting to know who these little girls are. Um, they're not too far from them in the pen that they were in. However, they are definitely not this close. So now they're really interested. It gives these big meanies time to just see their faces and smell them and, and so forth. So it's not, when we add them to the herd, it's not such a big shocker, who are you? They'll already know. So we've moved all of our ducks into the kid pen, uh, just temporarily until their pen gets built. So we have six hens and five drakes. We're gonna keep all the hens and then two of the drakes I'm keeping that happen to be right here. This guy here, he's a chocolate and he's gorgeous. Probably gonna name him Choco. And then this guy here, uh, Big Blue. He's just purdy. I'm really excited about this one. So I guess the gray feathers and birds, they're considered blues. Um, to me, he's silver or gray, but either way, he's gorgeous. We're keeping those two boys and then again, all six hens. So there are three drakes that need to be harvested, um, but there's, there's a lot of things that we got to get going on before breeding time. We, we have our plate full, but soon our plates will have duck on it. So look at what we found guys. It's been six weeks since we banded and one little dude has lost his balls. And it's this guy. 
I'm gonna show you what it looks like, how it's supposed to look anyway. So he just dropped them a few days ago, but let me see, dude. So obviously there's nothing there, and it just looks like a little scab. So I'm gonna blue coat that, but that is exactly how it should look. It looks really, really nice. So again, I'm, I'm gonna blue coat it just because it is a little bit of a scab, but he's doing good. So if you guys haven't seen um, another video where I talk about the blue coat, it is just a spray that I use for any wounds. Um, it's an antifungal, antibacterial spray, and it works really well. Good to go. You're all good. So now I'm gonna check the other boys. I don't think any anybody else has lost their balls, but they might need blue coated either way. Big, 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 big. <laughs> Miss Peggy, hurry, hurry. are six months old. The girls are ready around nine, nine-ish months to breed, and the boys can be ready around nine or ten months physically, but they're typically not even interested till about a year old, which obviously will put it right around February of next year um, before we'll start breeding these guys, so that will be exciting. And also, they, they their gestation period is a little bit uh, shorter than a goat. So it's three months, three weeks, and three days. And they really, really like apples. Especially Miss Piggy. Huh. Huh. You got some. All right, so we're back in the kitchen. Got some chores done outside. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my cheese progress thus far. Um, so, doing pretty good all things considered. Um, I have four farmhouse, or stirred curd cheddars rather, which these cheddars hopefully are going to be a melter. Um, I have a farmhouse cheddar, and I have a jack here, and then this jack we also actually opened, which is delicious. And then I have two butter case cheeses that I've never tried before and really excited. So I got them in the brine here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not counting the one that we've actually opened. And then if I can continue for the next four weeks to bang out two, that'll leave us with 16 cheeses and not too bad considering we had such a late start. So coming close, I wanted to show you guys how awesome this Jack turned out. So this was the Jack we made six weeks ago. And I was super excited how the curd turned out just because I could tell it would be a melter. It's really elastic. It's delicious. Um, this chet or this jack has really good flavor considering it's only been aging for six weeks and it almost has like a, a Swiss kind of a taste to it, but it's really, really good. So the next one I'm going to let it age at least two months, probably more like three to see how much sharper that, that cheese can get. So I would say this Jack is by far the mildest of all the, the, goat, the goat cheeses we've made. Um, but for the goal, I'm definitely going to get at least a couple pepper jacks, because I love pepper jacks, maybe even four of those, with this same recipe, just adding in the peppers. 
and I also need a couple Kobe's at least so that's the plan guys just wanted to give you an update on the cheese and if you see Miss Iris she's eating a grilled cheese with that Jack and she's loving it so you say it's winner yeah is it a winner oh camera in the face <laughs> You're too cute. She just sees herself and how cute she is. So thank you guys so much for watching with us today. Um, wanted to say a big thank you for all of you who are buying the merch. Really, really appreciate it. And those of you who are sharing your pictures with us, wearing the shirts and holding the mugs, very awesome. Keep those pictures coming. We love, love, love to see them. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Say bye. Bye-bye. Say bye. See you later. You're cute, huh? <laughs>